Chuck. I don't know. I don't I don't see anything now to be happening. If anything my black will go up for the body to be I'm legal.
Hey. Oh, come on. Oh no! Oh, yeah. 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 Ian Burridge, myself, dare I say it, and Harry Dodge, 
would have been quite good choices for your team of four in the semi-finals. Not one of us made it. <laughs> Not one. And the person who sort of kept himself in the background a bit was a Pierre, carefully losing a couple of matches, but then coming through very strongly and playing a superb match against Mark, Mark Stevens in the, in the semis. Um, and a very good match, the better one, I think, to be fair, against Harry Dodge in the, in the quarters. And that did not go according to the form book, having seen how well Harry was playing. So, Pierre, very well done indeed. An even darker horse, an even darker <laughs> horse, although perhaps the gender's wrong, was Rachel, who again um, carefully allowed the two Spaniards to win her, her block matches against them, therefore doing her bit for European amity. <laughs> then began to sneakily win 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, uh, beating Andre de Diego and, of course, Rafael as well. So, Rachel, um, you've done this before. You're very dangerous, I think, a bit like the Spanish ladies, but very well played indeed to come back from a 7-3 loss in the opening mm -hmm. game and to manage to overhaul Pierre, who's a very dogged competitor. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So please, both of you, come forward. Thank you very much for managing. <laughs> um, and just a thank you to everyone that's travelled to come and play in this tournament. It's always a great tournament to enter, and I hope you've really enjoyed it. Sala, which only has been great with about 24 hours of getting home with it, but it's the cleanest it's ever been in its life. <laughs> so, a nice and shiny trophy, and many congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.